sparks. Yep, and away we go. Right, he's able to mash out of it, but that is not a good start. Probably used to mash it out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, yeah, this is really not a good start. Let me get uh, get the chat back up. Can we get uh, a two in chat if you're excited to see back-to-back -back Fox Ices and a 69 if you're not? You can just fish for it that easy. Well, see, I, I feel like two and six, because if I give one of them one, the one's just going to win, because one always wins. This is true. All right, you win. It's a lot of, ooh. Ooh. Hit the up air bear. Could have just held ledge, probably. Barrels Might have just been doing it in the event that Fox angled up. Just uh, cover options. Didn't take too much percent for it as punishment. Uh, He's looking. He's got a little bit of a lead to work with, though. Yeah. So. Finally takes care of Nana stall. Yeah. But. Oh, good. Oh, I was just gonna say I, I'm, I'm excited to see how he plays for Sopo. Oh yeah, that's a different. Uh, I might have held onto that shine too long. Yeah, it's it's. I might want to go straight up or something. Don't listen to me. He made it back. <laughs> Almost took the stock with it. Greenland helping a lot. I'm not sure what like stages is this like considered the most even in the matchup, would you think? Uh I'd it, say so, but it gives Fox a lot of room, but uh I just have a lot of ground work to it. Yeah. Play with. That's gonna be a, oh, oh nice. my god. His mashing game He's is a mash strong. monster. Oh dear god. I don't think he expected to mash out of that one that quick. He just didn't do anything. Side B? Oh. <laughs> I don't know what Nana just did. She just ran away. <laughs> well, I guess she feels like she's not needed for us. Alright, good attempt of shine there. Shark's going just a bit low. Yeah, I wonder if he was reading like a fastball to ledge, or just mistimed it. Uh, I don't know if that up air wasn't necessary. Sharks loves uh, in neutral in in edge guarding. He loves going for the up air as coverage, just in the event that he misjudges something. I've seen. Um, I know. I don't know. That's fair. That's a good move. Even if you end up saving them, you just get to reset and, and rinse and repeat the edge guard. Um, That's fair. It's a dangerous I mean, game to play with Fox. So. Yeah, you don't want to give him any opportunity to just shine you. I, I don't know if he wants to stay with Fox. Or I don't know if, for as much practice as he has in the matchup, he had a lot of unsafe approaches. Like, from the get-go, he just kind of fell right in front of uh, ty or Sharks. Yeah. I know at the at the end he started shifting more to a little more of like a grounded run shine, drill shine sort of thing. Um, so hopefully he'll sort of keep that adaptation instead of doing the unsafe, unsafe stuff you were mentioning. It's a good get up attack. And that's yeah. a dead nano. Getting rid of nano 10 seconds in is always like, it's definitely a lot better than what happened last game. Hey, Joe! People have been walking into this. So I just want to make sure it's at the right height or, or angle or whatever. A uh, couple of raw. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. There's a there's a light that they use to to light up me and Coster for for you fine folk who are watching. Um, but it's like right in the way of the walkway, so it's been tripped over like three times. It's a good air dodge, allows him to at least reset the situation and uh, up smash. Slightly missed time, but Fox's yeah. up smash is just that good. And then with the bicycle kick. Do you know. Sorry. Oh, no, go ahead. Uh, what causes Nana 
to sometimes grab the ledge and sometimes just like fall off? Is it like you shine when you shine her? Sometimes she'll just like not grab the ledge like that, and other times she'll grab ledge. And I don't know if it's like a distance thing or. I think it's a distance thing. Okay. Because uh, from the time, the time Nana grabbed the ledge, I'm pretty sure the shine happened uh, about right there. Yeah, like closer to the left side of that platform. Yeah. All right, we've Brandon, got a lead. Brandon's opening up a lead here. He's done a lot better of uh, taking care of Nana this set. Yeah. I know a couple times last set he would kind of do that shine uh, a little bit too early, and, and now he's really closing it out. That was some good DI on the down smash, though. And that was not. All right. About even, a couple percent on Nana. Gotta be real careful of how he approaches this. Ooh, man of the crowd. Yeah, those ad ad yeah. adaptations you were talking about earlier seem to be sticking in this game. Mm -hmm. uh, but he doesn't. Uh, hmm. He's using the platforms a little bit more as well now that they're not so high um, that he can, like. Because now he can, like, fall through. I haven't quite seen it, actually, but he has the option of, like, falling through really quickly um, in order to punish, like, like if Sharks does, like, a decent blizzard below the platform, he has the option to kind of come down and, and do, like, a, a shield poke dare or just, like, dare shine to catch Sharks acting out of shield. Um, because Nana's just stuck in, in uh, lag from, from using blizzard. Uh. See... I, like you were saying, I don't think that's a good up smash. Yeah. If anything, could have done it facing Sharks, and it would yeah, have been better. Sh sharks had no option to, like, do anything but grab ledge or land right in front of it. You could have charged a forward smash if you really wanted to just charge something and let go with the timing. That's going to do it. Yeah. Very respectable game, too, but... Yeah, he started to kind of adapt, and I wonder if it was... You know, like a Euro 4 out of 7, he might have been able to make the full comeback. 